<laughs> Whip up. It's your girl, Priceless Vivi. Uh, and if you're new to my channel, thank you for tuning in. I hope this video is encouraging and motivating to you because we're talking about a career here, okay? We're talking about a career. For you all who don't know, I am in school to become a surgical tech. If you all want to know more about the field and what it consists of and, you know, just more about the background of a surgical tech, leave a comment down below and I'll do a separate video about it because this is more about my experience of clinicals. So, if you've gotten this far in this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Share it to somebody who's looking for a career that only takes about two years to finish. And yeah, we're about to get into this video. Let's start from day one of clinicals. Day one of clinicals was on the 13th. I had to look at my calendar and I was very nervous. I'm not a nervous person, but if I am, you'll never notice. And I don't know what was more exhausting, knowing I had to be there from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. or I don't know what... I don't know what was on my mind. That's why I should have did this video earlier. But I just got from clinicals today, so I do have a little bit of fresh experience. So I'm going to talk about today as well. So on 13th come, you know, we walk in and me and another student put our stuff in the locker room. And then we headed to the board, which is where, you know, you find all your cases and what you're going to be doing for the day. So my name was next to a, I have everything written down. It's my first notebook. So my first case was a lumbar decompression, which is the spine. And it was at 7 a.m. And y'all, I'm just like, <laughs> is that? Like, hey, what is the spine decompression? Um, when we was in school, we didn't learn every specific case and how to set it up and everything else that comes with the case. We didn't learn everything. We only learned about a couple of cases, but we focused on, you know, knowing our major basic tree and, you know, basically our just major instruments, which you will probably use more in um, general cases, I believe. Um, the hospital that I'm at, um, we don't do as many small cases. It's um, a lot of neuro, ortho, and cardiac, I want to say. And we do vascular as well. So the instrument trays are very big. Um, this is my first time seeing a two-story back table. Like, it was a double back table. And that's the first thing I noticed when I was like, what is all of this? Like, who got to learn how to? I can't set this up. What is this? <laughs> is this anyways i didn't show no type of nervousness about it like whatever okay let's get through it let's get to it <laughs> like so when i first went in my room i did introduce myself as the surgical tech student to my preceptor and whoever else was in the room because in this room there was a lot of people in this room i'm trying to tell y'all like who are all y'all but um yeah, so my preceptor let me go scrub my hands. I came back in, I gowned and gloved, and I'm thinking I was going to watch because it was my first day, first case of the, of the day. And she was like, okay, you stand on the other side of the field. And I was on one side. The surgeon was next to her, and she was next to the surgeon, and the male stand was right over the, the feet of the patient. When I tell y'all, I was so freaking nervous. I got to retract and I got to suction. So I'm up there working, y'all. Like, <laughs> your girl was doing her thing for real. Um, the, the surgeon was really quiet, so the case was like, I won't say awkward, but it was really quiet in the room. Like, I'm thinking it was going to be like a teacher step-by-step -step type of thing. But everybody is different. You're going to run into those people, preceptors who like to teach and tell you what's going on. And then you have those who kind of just point and you know not really say much but please appreciate the good preceptors because we need them to keep teaching the next upcoming um scrub text because you have some preceptors who don't like teaching at all so when i say you got a good teacher you better be listening ears open 
eyes on for you. You better be paying attention because they're going to be paying attention to you and what you doing. Like, don't be wandering off and looking all these other places. Like, do what they ask. You know, just be there. Be there. Not zoned out. Be there. Participate in the surgery because you want to graduate with a job. So, that's what I did um, for my first case. And my second case was the same thing. The same people, the same surgeon, everybody, the whole team was the same for the second case. It was another lumbar decompression. And yeah, that's how my first two cases went of the day. So my third case of the day was uh, left leg nailing. And y'all, <laughs> hire me. <laughs> hire me for the ortho team. That's how I was feeling. Going from the neuro case. I guess it was like neuro slash ortho with the spine. I guess it varies on. I'm not sure. But them spine decompressions was so slow. And yeah. One thing about cases, it depends on what specialty you're working in. Because you could be in the case that only take about 30 minutes. And you can be in the case that take up to seven hours. And the hospital I am at in my rotations we in the long cases so i'm gonna be used to standing up for a long period of time which i'm already getting used to without using the bathroom which is breaking scrub without eating so yeah it's a lot that comes behind being in surgery other than that the left leg nailing was the most exciting for my first day um the surgeon was really interactive his rep was interactive and my preceptor, um, she let me do a lot after she realized I picked up on what she was doing. That's why I saw myself in your ortho because, you see, it's a teamwork effort. So if you're working with people that's quiet, you, of course, you're going to be sitting there like, you know, just bored. But when you got a team that's talkative and, you know, everybody talking to each other, you're going to be more interested. And, yeah, so that's how the ortho case went. My overall experience from clinicals of my first week went amazing. So... If you're thinking about going into surgical tech, I will be uploading more stuff about surgical tech. Um, if you're about to go into your first rotations, just have confidence and just not show that you're nervous. But it's okay to be nervous. It's okay to be nervous. Don't forget that. But yeah, I'm going to be talking more about surgical tech in my videos. So just stay tuned. And if you want to know something, just ask below. Thank you so much.